Kai Koops asks, Hey, I want to buy the Gepper C Mark V. What receiver should I go with? Um, there is no one right answer to this. Uh, the receiver that you buy, <clears throat> first of all, obviously the, the receiver has to match and be compatible with the controller. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to think about which receiver protocol is going to work best for you. And then you're going to think about a controller that supports that protocol. I do want to... This is a good time to throw out that my website, fpvknowitall.com, my website has a page on controllers and receivers, and it's not just a shopping list, but it also has a lot of technical discussion about which protocol should you get. So now I've got a video. This is a little bit of a, this is a little bit of a dated video, but it is still mostly relevant. Uh, but there's also content here talking about the pros and cons of the different protocols. Um, I would say that today, probably ExpressLRS is the fastest growing for sure. I don't know if it's the most popular, but I think it's certainly the fastest growing. Um, ExpressLRS is high performance and not very expensive, but is less user-friendly and easy to use. And for a beginner who is already sort of struggling with the learning curve of all the things you have to learn in FPV, ExpressLRS can be frustrating. Um, uh, Crossfire, great performance, much easier to use, a little more expensive and not as readily available good hardware quality. I would say whatever you do, I would stay away from the last generation control protocols like FreeSky, FlySky, Spectrum. Uh, that's basically it. I would stay away from those last generation and I would only really consider Ghost, Tracer, Crossfire, or ExpressLRS. Um, and of those... I feel like Tracer is the one that I would least recommend to a, a person getting into the hobby. Uh, and so really the three I would steer you towards are Ghost, ExpressLRS, or Crossfire. Um, well, let's keep narrowing it down. If you don't mind technical complexity, like flashing firmware and you know all that nonsense, then certainly ExpressLRS is a, a way to go. Uh, a lot of racers are more racers than I thought are using Ghost. Ghost has not quite the same range and penetration as Express LRS in the extremes, but still more than enough for anybody. Ghost is a little more expensive. It's easier to use than Express LRS. And it's a little harder to find hardware in stock. And then Crossfire, is, the big disadvantage of Crossfire is that it's 900 megahertz instead of 2.4 gigahertz, so the antennas are a lot longer. They're just bigger and harder to mount. Uh, Crossfire, similar in price to Ghost. Generally, you can find parts in stock. The other thing about uh, ExpressLRS that's a pro is that you find a lot of bind and flies with ExpressLRS in it and Crossfire, but not Ghost. So if you're looking to buy bind and flies, probably Crossfire or ExpressLRS would be your choice. Mm, those are some thoughts about directions you could go. Hmm. Anyway, uh, it's not it's not an easy question. 